what's going on guys in today's video I'm gonna be showing you a quick little way how to find products using Facebook so as most of you know Facebook one of the biggest advertising platforms great way to connect with people but it's also a great way to find some products so let's get into the video first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Google Chrome and you're gonna to go to facebook.com now from here, you're gonna wanna type in something that people would probably use for an ad copy. So something along the lines of get yours today, right? You could try free shipping today only, get yours now, any of those work. So get yours today. You're gonna wanna go to videos and here we go. You're already starting to see some products. These are a little older. These are from 2021, but let's go to date posted. We could do this month. So here they're the Fadeify Volcano Aroma Flame Diffuser. Save 15% Fancy Valentine. Get yours today. Some more Valentine's Day products. These are going to be seasonal. Once February 14th passes, they're not going to be selling as good. So we're just going to try to go for a product that's a little less seasonal. Here we have Uncork Your Next Bottle in style. LED lights. Wow, they're selling this for $70. And that might not even be including shipping. No, free USA shipping, okay. $70. All right, keep your dog happy and hydrated. Tired of low pressure and unfiltered showers. Let's see these. Now something that's good about Facebook is you can go to their about section, go to page transparency, and you can see this page is currently running ads. So now you can go to see all, go to their ad library, and you can actually see the ads that they're running. And you can get a ton of inspiration by doing this. Here's one of their ads. If you see someone running an ad for like 10 days, 20 days, a month, you know they're probably making money because they wouldn't keep spending money if they weren't selling. So if there's an ad that you see running for a while, you can keep coming back to this page and see and keep posted with it. See how long they're keeping their ads up. That'll give you a great indication of how a product's doing for them. So you can go to their website, the 7-in-1 Cleaning Brush Kit, and let's see what else they're selling. Okay, here we have 10 products. So we have the 7-in-1 Cleaning Brush Kit, the Cup Washer, Levitating Moon Lamp, the Digital Measuring Spoon, all potential products that we could check out and possibly sell. And let's see this page. Let's also see if they're running ads. Again, you go to about, page transparency. They're not running ads, but we could go to their website, see what they have going on there. They have their turbo shower that we just saw. All right, it seems like it's their only product that they're running. So it's good to maybe check up on this Facebook page and see if they do start running ads sometime soon because that'll give you also a great indication on whether or not this product sells. Let's see if we can find this on AliExpress. See how much money they're making on each product, on each item. So we have a four-in-one shower head. Let's try to look that up. Okay, I don't think it, any... Oh, this might be it. All right, well, here's what we can do. If you can't find it just like this on AliExpress, what you do is you go to this and you do search image with Google. And now, pull this up, and there you go, AliExpress. Here it is, the propeller shower head. That's what they call it. I believe that's the same exact one. It is, okay. So we have the propeller shower head. Look that up. We'll just stick to best match. Now it's always good to check a few suppliers because you never know who's going to be giving you the better offer and most likely they're going to be the same quality as long as you see they're over, you know, 4, 4.5 stars. Let's see. Buy one, $30. They're selling it for fourteen thirty-two. That's how much he's getting it for. Selling it for 30 And he's got a couple different offers here, but we're just going to stick to this one just for this purpose. Let's see the shipping options they have. So you could pay more, but probably wouldn't be worth it. So according to this, say you add a few dollars for some fees, probably $17 total. You're selling it for 30 This would be a little tough with if you're running ads because you generally want to have more than 2x your cost, your total cost, because you want to leave enough room to be able to spend ad money and make a profit. This one might be a little expensive to buy, but say if you were just wanted to see the concept working and you were going to go to Alibaba after and buy in bulk, you might be able to get a much better price and then it'll be worth it. So this is just to see the pricing. Now let's see what else we have. Rose Bear for Valentine's Day. Say goodbye to clogged drains with our bathroom sink strainer. 
Discover first sight. Discover a new limited edition jewel bath bomb. Let's see what this is. They're selling a rose bear for Valentine's Day. Now you got to be careful when you're going into products like these because this is a type of product like they they might be running ads. Let's see. This is a type of product that post Valentine's Day is probably not going to do even close to as well as it is in January and beginning of February. So they're not even running ads. Yeah, this this is the type of product that really just does well during Valentine's Day time and after that it'll you'll see a huge dip in sales so if you want something more consistent I wouldn't go for a seasonal product like this but it's up to you oh they have four different sections let's see they can have a lot of great products to test out let's see what this one was for now too And whatever you see here, anytime you have an idea, something that you see has some potential, always write it down. And you can always come back to it. You can always take it off your list, add more to your list. And then once you have a good enough list, you're going to go on, on Excel, you're going to make a spreadsheet, and you're going to put in all the pricing and see which products work out with the strategy you want to go for in regards to pricing and cost, and which ones you also see have the most potential, and you can narrow it down from there. So here, let's go to their website. See what they have going. See this one, Imperial Candles. Another Valentine's Day gift. All right, let's see if they're running any ads. This is a big account, 386K likes. They are running ads. All right, look at that. They're running a ton of ads, okay. All right, we have a few. See this, they started running January 6th. This, January 19th, January 26th, 26th, 27. It seems like they're trying out a couple different things here. This one, for example, okay, when you see something started running November 10, 2022, you know it's selling because they're still running this. And it's been over two months now, soon to be three months. So you know this is selling. These Valentine's Day ones are probably going to come down in the next two weeks. You know, fe once February 14th comes around, they're probably going to stop selling these Valentine's Day gifts to their website. Okay, they have a nice website. Okay, they have an ambassador program. This is this is a pretty legit business. They have their products private labeled with their imperial candles on it. If you were looking to build a long-term brand out of a candle company, this would be a great thing to look at. Okay, let's see what else we got. We have this page. Doesn't seem like they have a lot of products on this page, on this website. But let's see. All right, they have 10 products, but they're all drop shipping products. Crystal hair removal, body scrub, bath brush, anti-slip mat, fashion storage box, luxury storage box. These are all products that could be tested or at least looked at. So yeah, you can find websites like these on, on Facebook pretty easily. This is just like one of the key phrases to get yours now. Just be creative with it, you know, look at what other people are writing when you look at the video results and just try out different things. You'll be surprised what you can come up with. Limited stock only, that's another one you can try out. Yeah, look at this one, so many. Okay, he's got seven products. Let's see if there's more in each one of these. See there is, again, a ton of products that could be tested. Just from this one website, you get a ton of inspiration, ton of ideas, sauces injector. Let's see that. You can go to AliExpress. Here, there it is. Same thing. This one's four dollars. This is exactly the same product. So they got 10x, nearly 10x on this product. Say after fees, it'll be eight, and there's a ton of potential here if they're selling it. I don't know how they're selling. We'd have to track their Facebook to see if they're constantly running ads. But if they are, this could be a great product. There's huge room for margin here. Um, and yeah, and you can check out their website for more products, more types of products. Even on AliExpress, you can click on a product and you can see other products that are similar to it. Here you see a bunch of different types of products. Something might be a tiny bit different, but if it's a cool product, good sell, you'll see related stuff to it. See this, this, this one. Here we have the shower from before. This one. Also just a little bit different, but it could look cooler, have one extra effect 
and could be a selling factor that you can add. So that is it for this video. That's how you find some products to sell on Facebook.